Okay, welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you're new, please uh, leave me a like, subscribe, and uh, comment below if you find the video useful. If you're a returning viewer, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Uh, today we're going to look at uh, creating a single cut gemstone. Uh, so as you can see, they're much different than what uh, Matrix has in here. And actually, there's a lot of websites now that'll sell uh, these kind of stones in a large size, topaz and other kinds of stones. Uh, but they're, they're not cut the same. So we're going to look at how to create a single cut uh, gemstone in this video here. Um, first, we're going to try to do it in... Uh, in the uh, gym uh, custom gym builder so we'll we'll grab a circle we'll start with a circle go to f4 and i'm just going to wing it out here for right now and then i'll go to uh, my gyms and i'll select custom gym builder and it says to select a curve so i'll select a curve and then hit enter and uh, a single cut stone has about eight facets so I'll change that to an 8 and hit enter and then uh, you can see it's kind of really jacked up my stone already uh, so let's let's go to 9 9 kind of fixed it but there's not uh, there are 9 cut sided stones to single cut but most of them are 8 and it's jacking it up but you can come down to pavilion it, it will do pavilion really nice if you type in one hit enter uh, the bottom pavilion uh, looks really good but there's really no way to uh, create uh, a single cut with the gym builder because you can't get rid of those facets but uh, usually I don't have this going on. Usually I can get eight in there, no problem. For some reason it's not uh, letting me today. Uh, but anyway, let's let's back out. You re it's really difficult to try and uh, do it in the, the gym builder, custom gym builder. But if you know a way, please uh, leave me a comment and a uh, link. I'd love to check it out. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just grab a gym and this gym will just be a, a guide for us we're going to use it as a guide uh, the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and get an offset curve on it and we'll hit enter and then uh, I want to break history well we can where did my curve go oh there it is okay uh, so I'm going to take my stone I'll just hide it real quick uh, I'm gonna take this curve I'm gonna duplicate it in place alright so now I have two of them and I'm gonna take one of those I'm gonna take the second one and I'm going to go to rebuild and hit enter and I already had it <coughs> put in there eight eight points is what I want and I want it a uh, degree one alright and I have a my last video uh, which I'll, I'll post up at the top uh, it talks about uh, a lot about the rebuild and all this stuff here so I'm not gonna go into that right now and I'm just gonna go ahead and hit uh, OK uh, okay so we have these out here first thing I'm going to do is take this curve and uh, get it to where our pavilion squared off or our table rather uh, so I'll rotate it from F4 to that midpoint up to the center there and then click alright so now our tables more in line uh, and those will be our facets as well so let's bring back our stone here real quick and uh, we're going to go to our curves and go to a point object and just get a point and I'm just going to go ahead and put it on F4 and then I'm going to reach in there and grab that point and kind of uh, drag it down to the bottom of our the culet of our uh, gemstone or around that area keep it in proportion with because they are pretty much cut uh, equally the same usually um, but uh, the faceting is different right uh, so we'll just uh, click on that there, leave that there. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab this curve and duplicate it in place. 
and then I'm going to select one of these curves the second one and I'm going to drag it up to around the top of our table of our stone so everything's pretty close to the same proportions as it is with uh, the full cut diamond uh, but what we want to do with this one is we want to uh, this will be the table of our stone so we want to make it uh, a lot smaller right somewhere around there maybe let's take a look that's pretty close we'll just leave it there alright so we'll take that and I'll go ahead and hide my gemstone again and I'll just go ahead and hide this curve right here for right now well I got two of them there so let's just delete one and hide one okay so here we have this let's do some uh, surface uh, modeling uh, we'll do a loft uh, from this curve to this point and hit enter enter and uh, we want it tight or uh, and do not simplify uh, so we'll say okay uh, and then we'll do we'll do another loft so I'll just right click and then select that curve there and this one here and hit enter enter and we'll take that uh, and right now I'll just go ahead and select this and the the top pavilion facets and we'll change those to green real quick and then I'm going to take this curve and I'm just going to do a planar curve on it so we'll take this and we'll take the green and this and we'll join it all together okay so we should have a solid surface closed poly surface which is good exactly what we want uh, so from here we have we pretty much have our shape of our stone right except uh, the it's not actually there are stones like this so this is a good example uh, they do sell a lot of topaz and uh, uh, other kind of stones in, in this exact shape here maybe the pavilions a little bit bigger but that all you have to do is offset that curve a little bit and do an extra loft uh, but we want to make it round right like a diamond so we'll show bring back that and we'll just go ahead and hide our gemstones right now and we'll go to our top view here and we'll change it to wireframe <coughs> so the next thing I'm going to do is go to my curves menu and get a line curve and I'm just going to I'll change it to uh, red and I'm going to go to that quad down to this quad and I'm going to turn off my green here real quick and I'm going to take this outside curve and I'm going to go to transform and scale and I want 2D alright uh, and then point to uh, uh, is that midpoint and then I'll go out here and select my quad from my outside circle and I'm going to zoom in very closely and drag it just so it I'll turn off my snaps make it easier just so it's barely not touching get as close as possible the closer you get the better outcome you'll get so let's go with that all right uh, let's zoom back out here and now everything should be inside my yellow line there uh, out the the faceting stones right so now let's turn back on our green and we'll take this curve that's inside there it's hidden right here and we'll just uh, extrude that out we're using our little dot there extrude it up and then we'll click off of it click back on and then drag it down all right so let's turn this on so you can see it's going to make a circular uh, around our gemstone and it should split everything okay <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and select our gem uh, hit split cutting objects this and hit enter and let's get rid of that and we'll select this green part here and delete it delete it delete it delete it delete and delete and one more or two more rather this one and this one okay 
So now we have this gap here, right? So I'm going to take all the yellow and I'm going to switch it to gray and turn it off. Okay. So we have that. And now what we need to do is uh, I'm going to type in dupe border and hit enter, dupe border. And then I'm going to select this and hit, let's turn it to uh, green here. Hit enter. <laughs> And then I'm going to right click on it again and just do that. Okay, so we have this here. Now sometimes loft will work and sometimes it won't. So let's go ahead and try it. Uh, we'll go to our surface. Uh, we'll go to uh, loft. And we'll try lofting this curve with this curve. And hit enter. Enter. Oh, it worked. Yes. Uh, and... <laughs> And we'll take all that and join it together. And we'll check it. Oh, didn't join. Okay. Oh, what happened? It was there. Oh, d I didn't hit enter, did I? So we'll do that one more time. Uh, let's go back. Uh, no, no. We'll just do loft again. Loft. This. This. Enter. 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 And now we'll take all of it and join it together. And we have a closed poly surface, right? So let's take that uh, and turn it to blue. Oh, we got, okay. Blue, and it'll hide it. Let's just go ahead and get rid of all of that. Well, change it to gray. And we'll show the, show blue. And we have this one here and that one there. So here's our two gemstones. Here's the full cut gemstone and here's the single cut. And You can tell the difference and if you go to uh, render you can see the difference and it has the fastening on the bottom and if you go to your studio render studio and just kinda I don't know set them up a little bit I guess And we'll do a classic. We'll take this one and this one and put them on a diamond. And for some reason it's doing that. And we'll hit render. Running slow tonight. And I'll turn in my denoiser. And there you go. We have a full cut gemstone and a single cut gemstone. Uh, so that's kind of how I would work out a, a single cut stone. And, uh, you know, like I said, there's a, there's a lot of them uh, nowadays that uh, do sell. Uh, they sell them in topaz and stuff like that. Uh, so let's see. Do I have topaz over here somewhere? Uh, they don't sell them in sapphire, usually topaz, uh, blazing red, let's try that, see what that looks like, and uh, we'll select apply, we'll go over to our render, take a look at it, yeah that's blazing red alright, woo, and <laughs> we'll just hit render for the fun of it. It's running real slow tonight. And I'll hit, uh, but there you go. You can see uh, it's a single cut uh, a gemstone. So I, I hope the video uh, helps. Uh, if so, uh, please uh, uh, please leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And uh, s uh, hit that uh, notification button for more uh, videos. Uh, thanks for watching and good designing.